After Zack Snyder was canned by Warner Brothers in DC over the way he handled the DCEU, aka the Snyderverse, it was looking like he did find a home over at Netflix because he's been uh, pretty much making projects exclusively for them since then. Uh, he was initially met with some success with Army of the Dead, a movie that's not so great, but it did find some success amongst Zack Snyder fans. So Netflix decided that they're going to approve his upcoming projects, basically his version of Star Wars with Rebel Moons Part 1 and 2. And then the director's cuts of both those movies. But after both those movies didn't seem to land with audiences and probably cost the company a lot more money than it actually generated for them. There is a doubt now circulating whether his future projects will Netflix will actually move forward. He has one in the pipeline right now, and I'll get more on that in a moment. But first, let's look at this article from Game Rant that's kind of talking about it. Zack Snyder's Rebel Moon flop might have doomed his other projects. Rebel Moon has seemingly failed in its grand strategy to cause a resurgence and change public opinion with the vastly different director's cut for its film, and it seems to have taken another franchise down with it. And then it kind of goes on to talk about how Zack Snyder, his first directorial debut, was Dawn of the Dead. Army of the Dead was kind of the spiritual successor to it, and then Zack Snyder did announce that Army of the Dead was supposed to take place in the same universe as uh, Rebel Moon, which I think is kind of crazy because there's really nothing connecting the two outside of the fact that it's created by Zack Snyder. I think shared universes are something that people are trying to like zero in on these days. A lot of studios are really big on that sort of thing. So Zack Snyder was trying to make his own, even if it didn't make sense because just because it has the same director doesn't mean it's a shared universe. Even if they say it is like if Kevin Smith came out and said, Tusk is a part of the same shared universe as cop out. Would anyone believe that? (laughs) <laughs> no, it's it's a stupid concept because they're both completely different movies with the only similarity being the same director. But that's kind of what it's like when it comes to this. But whatever, if Zack Snyder said he initially envisioned both those movies to be a part of the shared universe, then fine, I guess. I just don't personally see it. While it was previously unclear whether the two franchises would ever cross over or whether the planned sequel, Planet of the Dead, would ever be released, fans now know the answer for certain, and it seems to be thanks to Rebel Moon. And then it talks about how Netflix decided to pull the plug on any plans to do future stuff with Army of the Dead, even though there was a planned sequel for it in the works right now. And uh, they never cited a specific reason as to why, but a lot of people are speculating that it is because of the response to Rebel Moon. And it's also looking like any future plans that they had for Rebel Moon is also down and out too. And this is something that Netflix obviously didn't want to have happen because it was supposed to be their version of Star Wars, similar to how Disney and Lucasfilm are producing a bunch of stuff for Disney Plus. Netflix wanted to have their own sci fi fantasy space opera that they could work into a franchise. It'll entail uh, future sequels, spin offs, uh, including like, comic books and other things like that. But it's looking like because of the reception to Rubble Moon, it pretty much killed the plans for any other future Zack Snyder projects for Netflix right now. The report, which fairly extensively focused on Snyder trying to make the director's cut his signature move, And that's another thing that was kind of a dumb idea of making rebel moon part one and two for Netflix and then doing the director's cut of that. Cause okay. The Snyder cut was something that had a lot of organic momentum behind it when that was coming about years ago, because famously he didn't get to do his version of the justice league. He got pulled off that project and what was produced was obviously very Joss Whedon esque. So a lot of people are wanting to see his version of it because the Joss Whedon version wasn't very good. And yes, the Snyder cut, I do think was a better version of it, but because of that, now Zack Snyder thinks that he can do that all the time. It's like someone making a viral video and then they're like, okay, well I made a good viral video. So now I'm going to try to go out and do the exact same thing. And maybe that'll go viral too. That's not really how it works. Uh, You can't really just create that organic momentum. Like we saw when it came to, DC's uh, Justice League Snyder cut and that's kind of what he tried to do with Rebel Moon and yes the director's cuts of that were better than the uh, theatrical cuts for or the original versions that they had but still it, the actual story itself and the movies themselves weren't very good so even if you're going to improve it a little bit it's still not going to be a good movie and that's kind of the unfortunate side effect of this because it's not like when it came to the Justice League where Zack Snyder was having that comparison between his work and a completely different director's work. He was basically just trying to compare his version to his own version. 
And it really didn't make sense when you think about it for five seconds. It's like, because the only thing it really does is he's like, okay, I'm going to shoot stuff differently, but I'm going to make this for like the bad version. And then I'm going to have my version, which is going to be the good version. And if you're going to do that, why not just make your own version to begin with? And that's pretty much what you should be doing, or at least I would think that's what you should be doing, but no, he didn't want to do that. He wanted to try to save something for later and it really just didn't seem to work and capture audiences like his previous uh, Snyder version has done. It also quotes Snyder as noting that he and his wife and creative partner Deborah are very ambitious with everything. According to the duo, the Army of the Dead franchise isn't down and out just yet as there's still a planned themed experience based on the films being done at Six Flags. However, the highly anticipated anime adaptation of the franchise, as well as all future films in development, have joined the dead. So with Army of the Dead and Rubble Moon essentially over at Netflix, the next big project that Zack Snyder had in the works for Netflix was the animated film Twilight of the Gods, and that's set to come out next month. And I guess we'll have to wait and see how that's received before we can make a determination whether Zack Snyder will actually have a future over at Netflix or if they're just going to be done with him entirely. One thing to note when it comes to Twilight of the Gods is it says here that Zack Snyder's not actually getting the writing credit on that, which I think is actually a good thing for it because Zack Snyder does have a decent flair when it comes to visual styling, stuff like that. But his best movies are the ones that he didn't write himself there when he was adapting other people's work like Army or not Army of the Dead, uh, Dawn of the Dead or 300, things like that is when he's at his best. And I think if Twilight of the Gods is him trying to work with someone else's story, then there might be a potential there and maybe that will kind of revive his hope over at Netflix. But if that just fails, then I can see Netflix just deciding to cut ties with him entirely and he'll have to, I don't know, maybe find some other streaming platform that'll be willing to give him a shot. Maybe Amazon will pick him up next. Who knows? But let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Do you think Twilight of the Gods will be enough to save Zack Snyder or where do you think he's done? And if he is done, where do you think he'll go next? Comment below. And if you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with the latest entertainment news. And don't forget to click that like button and share the video out there because it really helps out with the channel. Thank you.